From WDTN TV2, this is TV2 News. Good evening, I'm Donna Jordan. And I'm Jack Hicks. Dog license sales take place every year at this time, but this year things are a little different. In fact, the cost of the tags are just about the only thing that's the same. June Butel explains. Montgomery County is one of the biggest sellers of dog tags in the state. Last year, 64,000 or 75 percent of all dog owners bought tags. This year, the county wants even more dogs to have this protective insurance. That tag tells shelter staff, any shelter staff, uh, countywide, statewide, nationwide, that there is an owner. And in the state of Ohio, it allows for a 14-day holding period. Simmer says this little piece of inexpensive insurance can save your dog's life. To make it easier for pet owners to get the tags, for the first time, veterinarians and city offices will be selling the tags. Those who purchased tags last year will get a renewal notice and can take care of it by mail. And there's another change. The tags will no longer look like this. There was just a multitude of complaints that dogs were getting cut from the sharp points on the tag. And uh, also smaller dogs, they were hanging, they were getting caught in heat registers. And, uh, and the hunters were upset because they couldn't rivet the tag to their uh, collar. The new tags are smaller and oval shaped. Dog license sales generates about 50% of the operating budget for the animal shelter. That money helps us operate the shelter, feed and house the dogs, uh, provide a deputy division which uh, rescues sick and injured animals 24 hours a day, uh, collects vicious dogs, all, all kind of dogs that are biting people and chasing other pets. Uh, that money is used for operations and we use every penny of it. Dog tags will be sold for $6. After January 20th, the price will double. June Butel, TV2 News.